Alright, hey guys, so, here's the review video on the Bluetooth Ultra Thin Flat Out Wireless Bluetooth Keyboard. That's a package that came in if you watched the video before this. And yeah. So let's get started. So what you want to do is it also shows the directions on here. It says right here, insert phone iPhone into the wireless keyboard, then it can work. So on the directions that came inside the, in here, underneath that flap, it shows like how to put the iPhone in. But I'm going to show you right now. Okay. So. What you want to do is, you take this part that, has, that is for this, you want to put that in first. See how that's in first, and that isn't. Then you want to push down on this side, and it just goes really smoothly. Kind of heavy, so it does not hold like this. I would hold it like this, or with your hands, like this, when you hold it. I know it looks weird, but hold it like this. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, yeah. And then, take this out really quick. Oh, it's easy. You just pull that side. Comes right out. It says, slide iPhone upwards to be try, wait, to begin typing on the keyboard. So it slides up. Whoop. Slides upwards. And down here too, it shows charging battery indicator, which is this light. Let's show you really quick. It shows red because I didn't put on charge. And then this is the on and off switch, so it's off right now. That's on. That's off. This right here is the charging port. Then this right here is the pairing button. There's no click to it. Simple. And then the charger is just a normal... ...charger nowadays. Alright, so back to the keyboard. First, you wanna, you know that the lock duration, that right here, you can't really see it. It's that circle. It's not like focusing. Whatever is that circle right there? You're gonna wanna turn that off. But you do this, you can't go sideways like this and type. Now turn that off, then you can turn it sideways and type. All right. So now you're gonna go to settings, Bluetooth. Make sure the keyboard is on. Turn it on. And then it says searching. You're going to press this button down here. And it'll start blinking. And then it'll pop up here. You click it. And then it's Bluetooth pairing request. Enter the code. It gives you a different code every time. 
on Bluetooth keyboard followed by the return enter key. So you type 0, 9, 4, 5, enter. And then it says connected. X out of that. Alright, so now the keyboard is connected to your phone. You can have light off or light on. So what you do is you click FN, this blue thing right here, and then the enter key, it turns it off. You go to this. Then you can either have no keyboard on the screen, or if you hit the spacebar, you can have the keyboard. For spacebar, it's over in the corner, instead of where it normally is right here. And I'll start. Okay, so the normal spacebar is right here. This is normal keyboard. The spacebar. And then the space bar right there. Alright. Let's get to this. Then oh. you start typing. Okay, so, hey, this is a really, fun, cool, and fast way to type if you don't like all-touch screen found. And if you see the red line, it does not auto-correct anything, and it does not capitalize anything. There. You just hold this back button, and it'll erase it all. And this does not work on some things, like this Facebook. Go a little bit like quick. If you want to write a status, It does not turn sideways. You have to go like this. Type with a sideways. That's okay. Um, yeah. So, I will start with the pros and cons with this keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pros on this keyboard. The pros are that you can type really fast with it. Um, it's like a regular keyboard. You just have to get used to the base bar on it. Um, yeah. It's really thin. It's a good thing. So it's just like one whole iPhone and the half right here. And it's like the iPhone 3G or whatever they are. The ones that don't make a Verizon. I think it's like 3GS or whatever. It's a little bit smaller than that. Um, it's really nice. 
um, fixture on it. So they like silver around it. I mean, the keys are all. I don't know if you hear that or not. Um, yeah. And then this makes it deep. If you drop it, I guess this camera won't get that bad. You also slide it out to make the camera not as deep. If you don't like the way it looks, I guess. It's a really nice matted texture. And, yeah. Um, and you can get to these buttons. Alright. Um, yeah. It's also a case for it, too. Um, also, the battery for this keyboard lasts like two to three days and only takes two hours to charge, so it's not that long. Um, so the battery in the keyboard is really good if it lasts two to three days. I mean, I turn it off at night when I don't use it, so maybe that's why. But, yeah. Okay. Another pro with this keyboard is, it has the home button. Oops. Right here. On the thing. So like, stay over here. Stay like on this screen. This is my first screen. This is like the last one. You can hit the home button. And I have like a double tap back with that. It's really cool. And then you also have the search button. And that's it. And then you have this button. Like chooses the which language you want and yeah so that's the pros so the next thing I am going to do is the cons with this keyboard um start with like the back part or whatever you want the backing there when you take flash pictures, they tend to turn blue, and the reason why is because this silver in here, you see have it closed, makes the pictures come back, I mean the flash come back at the picture, but if you have it open, they didn't put any black around this, so there's nothing that's going to stop the flash from coming back. Like this case I have, my dog case. Right here, right there is like a uh, black around it, the black, so that when you take a picture, the flash doesn't come flying back at it. So yeah. Oops. Okay, so I just took two pictures with the phone. This one was. Yeah, can you? This one was with it closed. Was with the case like this. Then this one was with the case opened like this. This one. So with the case opened. It's pretty much clearer than with it like this, but it's still not that good. It turns it blue, if you noticed. Then... Alright guys, so my camera's died, and I'm doing on my laptop now, so that tried it. So I took another picture, and with this case, because of the black part.
and this is how clear it came out. That was with the keyboard closed. That was with it open. Now it's with this case. Blue, clear. Really blue, blue, clear. So if you're gonna buy any case, make sure you buy it with like black around it for any type of color. Just not randomly just like that one. I personally think the black around it makes everything clear. Like it doesn't make the splash pop back at the same time. Um and another con about this case is, is that is this space bar. But it's not in the middle, it's like over here. Um also, when you turn this off, it just stops working. And then, when you want to turn it back on, you go to your settings again. Bluetooth. And you have to hit this button down here and you have to reconnect it because oh and then it pairing and this is connecting another con about this case is is that it wears your battery down tremendously because you have the bluetooth on and I took my phone off the other day off charge at 100% when I got this case because I let it charge for like a couple hours. And when I took it off, I probably put on about five-ish, like the case, put it on and started using it. And at like seven, eight o'clock at night, it was at like. 60%. So, this kind of kills your battery. But I mean, it's worth it if you want a reward. Um, yeah. So, it kind of makes your sure phone bigger, but not that big. Not that much bigger. Um,. You can use the keypad for the dialing pad. For some of you are wondering. But yeah. And it doesn't work for like the screen either. You wanna like go to different home screen over here. So. It stays there. So, yeah. And it doesn't cover the screen. Like, I don't know if you can see that. But it just goes like. It doesn't even go up. I don't know how much it's still there. Like, it doesn't even go slight over it, it just goes to like. Right where my nail is. Didn't like go over it, like makes half of the screen part. That white part right here, it covers like that much of it. And then leaves that much left hanging over. So if you drop it like this, your phone is not going to be living. Let's just say that. On cement, it'll be shattered, like broken. You won't be able to use it anymore. But it covers the back very well. <laughs> Obviously, you probably break the keyboard, maybe if you slam it on cement or something. But yeah. And now my phone is on 92%. I think it's on 93. 
even if you don't, like, if your phone is locked like this, the Bluetooth still works better than that. Which is stupid, but it's wireless, so, hey, no complaining. Alright, so that was the pros and cons and review on this keyboard. And, yeah. So, I'll probably be adding more to this in a couple of days. Might not put it on to um, YouTube right away. <clears throat> so, yeah, sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next video. Peace out.